Hello, your Royal Majesty, and welcome back to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I am your host to the universe, Christopher Wataki. So good to see you back. And this week's free horoscope is sponsored by the Guardian Agency. I've got a new feature coming out. It's called Psychic with Texts. These are designed to come out at a moment where you are more intuitive than usual using your date of birth and also using the energies in the sky. And I ask you a question and you are to just answer it in your mind or write it down. The whole point is to get you to start to listen and catch you off guard and be able for you to see and feel your psychic information coming in. Everyone is psychic. You just got to learn. So this should be fun. Let me know how it goes for you. And come on down to soulgarden.me. You know what? We are looking for new Leo leadership. We've had our Leos move on. Leos have a big career transit, which means all of our Leos who developed at Soul Garden have gone on to bigger things and we're ready to help develop the next wave. So if you're interested in being a Zodiac director or a writer for the Leos, come on down, post it somewhere, reach out. We're looking for Leo leadership and lots of Leos are leaders. Come develop your abilities in the garden. We'll help you uh, human develop. That's what we do. Now, where are the Leos this month? Well, you are working on your boundary consciousness with the sun in Pisces. Boundary consciousness is never fun, unfortunately, because with boundary betrayal is always a lot of pain. When we let ourselves down, it's always a lot of pain. When we can't trust something, it's always a lot of worry. It is just a lot of maintenance. And Leos use the Pisces state of awareness for their boundary rulership, which means that Leos have a different boundary for every one. They have a different boundary for every circumstance. There is no rule, really. That's the problem. So how do you rule when there's no rules? Well, frankly, you have to go with your intuitive side. Your higher self will tell you. Your higher self will tell you exactly how things need to be, but it means you have to become hyper aware of your boundaries. You have to slow down, you have to listen, and you have to get really good at knowing the subtleties of boundaries, which means your own life's boundaries have got to be secure because if you can't have solid boundaries to protect you, there's no way you're going to be able to subtly read boundaries out there in the world. All right, so you are working to this with Neptune in the sign. You're getting more and more psychic about boundaries every day. Where does that lead us? Well, on Monday, time to heal. If you have had a boundary betrayal in this transit, if something has been, you know, if some boundary has been forced open, if some boundary has been forced closed, Monday's a day to let that heal. Let the Venus energy restore balance and energy, uh, balance, giving and receiving energy to your boundary situation. If you stepped on someone's foot, good apology day. Hey, the moon is in your sign, so you're going to be feeling royal and you're going to be feeling uh, very uh, in your power and charismatic and really having all your tools in alignment. This is the day to fix things. So try to heal and fix. You know what's interesting? Uh, Mercury conjunct Uranus in Aries also on Monday. Major profound realization or lesson about your life. Major lesson, profound realization about your life that will happen as a result. And probably from just bringing peace back to the boundary and feeling safe with the moon in your sign. Then on Tuesday, it's a hyper psychic day. This is a day on Tuesday to get to where it is your boundary has cracks or how it is you led to this situation or what sort of boundaries you need, the subtleties of your own boundaries. And your boundaries are very subtle. The more sensitive you are as a Leo, the more subtle your boundaries are, the more transparent if you have to look at them. They're there, they need to be there, but you know, Leos can be very much candles in the wind energetically, and so your force field, your boundaries also have to be uh, be able to sway like that. So uh, it is an intuitive day. It is a day of intuiting. Notice, I bring up the soul pyramid. This has not gone anywhere, Your Majesty. This is building up to another holy shift. Uh, we had the last one last weekend, but the last weekend was about shaking off what's in the way. This next holy shift, which is on March 14th, will be about uh, seeing your potential, taking your legacy into your own hands, probably a catapult career move, okay? Catapult career move, which means lifestyle changes and money changes as well. So a good thing coming up and it just builds intention. This is going to get tighter and tighter as the week continues. On Psychic Tuesday, you're still feeling pretty strong. So although you're kind of whacked down and you're locked into higher self, your ego is still on autopilot. So you can kind of be spacey and still do the whole motion, right? Uh, also on Tuesday, don't forget, we have office hours on the mothership. This is where our practitioners at Soul Mart will do a free five minute answer for a question. It's a great way to get to know them. It's a great way to just get something off your chest. It's a great way. It's just a way to us meet our customers and meet our clients and meet our viewers. So come down if you want and meet us. Wednesday is the climax of the week. That's because we have a full moon in Virgo. 
A full moon means we're going to release, right? We're going to get super emotional about something. What are you going to get emotional about? You're going to get emotional about money. You're going to get emotional about values. You're going to get emotional about manifestation. Arr, I deserve this much. Now, here's the thing. Mars retrograde means that some of your approaches, some of the details of how you manage your manifestation, how the details you manage your money, the details of you manage your self-esteem, those details, probably not correct. Mars retrograde says you're going to be changing your mind, changing those details, because after this, after this moment, with the sun in the opposite sign of the issue, now suddenly it, there's, this is cause for change. The emotion triggers it. But don't forget, it's a boundary transit. So a lot of the changes are probably boundary changes as well. Boundaries that lead to keeping money in the bank, keeping confidence in the heart, you know, maintaining, preserving, etc. So it's a big day on Wednesday where we release. On Thursday, we act right away. Mars rules a day. That means whatever you decided with boundaries, just get a move on. If you kick somebody out, get them out. Tumble the locks. Go. Mars says go, go, go. Because of the place of boundaries, if this Martian energy isn't addressed, you could feel really anxious, okay? When you got a lot of Martian energy behind boundaries that aren't secure, it creates anxiety. So there's a chance of anxiety on this day for those Leos who lay in the sun and don't do the soul work. Also, the moon is still full. It's not on Mars, but it's full. So you're still full of value, full of what it's yours. For you Leos who are still in the prince, princess entitlement phase, oh boy, you could throw a tantrum on this day. By the way, if you need a little extra help, second office hours of the week is on Thursday. We just want to drill this into your head. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are there for you, okay, at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Pacific Time. I don't even know when Standard comes in anymore. I can't keep it in mind. Then on Friday, finally on Friday, actually, things kind of change. It's a nice vibrational change. It'll really feel like a weekend is around the corner. One, the moon moves into Libra. So you lighten up a bit. Emotions kind of go to your mind. They go to theory. They go to processing. They go to solution. They go to having conversations, telling people, text. You know, it's just for activity of mind. And so this is a time where uh, if you had a hard time in the full moon, you're talking it off. You're walking it off with the moon in Libra. So that's happening. But that'll be an issue maybe on Saturday. On Friday also, we're holding space. So your boundaries, you know where they should be. You're just kind of holding space on Friday. We don't uh, want to move forward. We don't want to move backward. We just want to st sit and, and sit in this. That's how you manifest. you got to lay on the egg for a day. Uh, so that's what you're doing. You're laying on that egg, so to speak, and your emotions are thinking about it, so they're not getting too much in the way. Now, Fridays, don't forget, SG Live, Carol Nagel and myself, we go live at 11 a.m. It's called, uh, uh, we're talking about psychic development. Last week we talked about Edgar Casey, but we got interrupted. This week we're going to continue and give you pointers on how to develop your psychic awareness, some activities, things like that. So come on down, and if you can't make it in the prime time, we do record it, and it's sitting there waiting for you uh, under SG live in the mothership menu. Then over the weekend, over the weekend it's really kind of a settling of these new boundaries. As we move into next week and, and as we set up for this holy shift that's going to happen with career, what you're doing is you want to, you're starting to on the weekend emotionally just settle into these new boundaries. Get just comfortable with this new situation because whenever there's boundary change, there's real definition change of who you are. So you're just getting sensitive and you're getting used to it. The only thing that might suck is a mind game or an argument when the moon crosses crosses Saturn up there in that corner. When the moon crosses Saturn, uh, triggers old mind games, triggers old arguments, triggers old, 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 you know, the, the test there is to stay responsible, be an adult to yourself, don't go into the dark side in your mind, you know, don't vent it on someone else. And, you know, again, uh, it might have, it might trigger some of your career worries, whatever this mind game is. It might be a career thing. Don't worry. Remember, you got a holy shift coming up. Your career will be fine. Don't worry. That's a really lucky thing. Your career will be fine. Uh, so stay out of your mind on that day. Sunday, nesting and resting for the royalty. The moon shifts into uh, Scorpio. So the month is caught up with you. By Sunday, you're in bed. Take the day off. Dismiss the staff, etc. You know what I mean? Just have one of those days for yourself. And Jupiter rolls a day. So you're optimistic and you're joyful. You're just probably tired. Now, for those of you who bought Act 1 videos, this big holy shift I keep talking about next week, I address it in the Act 1 video. So go back, watch it, get your final money's worth with it, and uh, see what it has to say. It gets a lot deeper than I can in this horoscope. All right, Leos, that's all I have for this seven-day forecast, but I will see you in seven more. Until then, live, love, be.